Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning. It's been a crazy busy morning, but I just wanted to check in quick and say, hey, I got out of the shower a little while ago. I'm letting my hair air dry, but I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with that. I might straighten it. We're going to a friend's house tonight, and I just don't know if I'm feeling the curls today. I don't know, we'll see how it dries. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like. But anyway, this morning, Patrick is packing up for a camping trip. He's going to Lake George with a couple of friends and they're camping and they're staying on the lake. And I'm happy with this trip because there's really no contact other than him and the family friends that he's been hanging out with all summer anyway. They're just gonna camp out by the lake. So that should be fun for him. And I am helping Emily pack for college this morning. <laughs> It's a little bit of chaos. Her room is completely torn apart right now. And we're going through everything and trying to coordinate and organize and see what she's bringing, what's staying, all that good stuff. Madison's helping out with the packing as well. And that's what I have been up to. I have to get back at it, but I just wanted to check in quickly to say good morning to you guys. We just packed up all of Emily's clothes. So we have these two organizational compartments that she can just slide underneath her bed so most of her clothes are in these two and then of course she has to bring two teddy bears <laughs> and then i have my big suitcase filled with shoes and sweatshirts and things like that so we're getting there slowly but surely i did pretty good i made it about halfway through packing before i started crying <laughs> so oh it's gonna be such an emotional weekend but um so we just finished packing up all of her clothes and we're getting together all of the snacks, toiletries, other things that she's bringing. And I'll show that to you guys at some point during this video, but we have to also go return some things. So we need to go back to Marshall's. Just when I thought it was over all of the shopping, she needs to exchange a couple of things. And then we're going to head to Target to get snacks and stuff for the room because as of right now, she's definitely going staying on campus and they are saying that they're going to be doing quite a number of in-person classes as well as of right now as we all know that is changing by the minute but that is currently what is happening and since it's only like two days away so it's friday we have saturday sunday and monday she's leaving i think it's fair enough to say she's definitely going and we need to do all of the things now so we're gonna just do some last minute shopping and then i will show you guys everything that she is bringing to her dorm okay if i look frazzled it's because i am <laughs> I hope that we currently have everything that we need for college because I will be happy to not go back to another store for a very long time. Once Emily is off to college, I am staying in, I am doing online ordering, I am done. <laughs> but anyway, oh my gosh, I'm such a mess. Um, I'm gonna show you everything that we have. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna work my way around this area of her room because that's where everything is. So this bin has all of the bathroom stuff that she's going to need, including band-aids, a mirror, toothbrushes, bath puffs, mouthwash, toothpaste, Tums, cotton balls and Q-tips, um, feminine products, and basically everything that you would normally pack when you travel hairspray dry shampoo all the things i have lots of medicines in here for her as well deodorant and i think we have like tylenol advil excedrin stomach medicine just all of the things that she may need while she's away <laughs> and then we have what is this body wash shaving cream face wash she has some lavender from my sister-in-law's garden. She made us these little lavender pouches and towels. They actually sent her this towel, but all of her bath towels are here as well. I picked those all up from Target. All of her cups are in here. She has the Starbucks color changing cup collection down there as well. So those are the cups she'll be bringing. And hangers. I don't think the stuff back here is very exciting. Over the door hook, she needed some dishes. So she has, sorry, it's kind of a mess in here, but she just has a couple of bowls and a couple of plates from Target. I think they were like 75 cents. And then a flatware set, minimal one. I think there's only maybe 20 pieces in there, if that. 
this also for limited closet space so that she can stack up some of the things that she's hanging. She has, I don't even know what she has in here. There's so many things we've been getting over the past couple of months. These little removable hooks. What is back here? I don't even know. I'm gonna hurt myself. Okay, what is this? Eye makeup removing mitts because you know, that is a priority. Don't even know what that is. Okay, a desk lamp and light bulbs. She has this to hang on her wall. It's a moon with little star stickers, super cute. One of these, I don't even know what this, is this called. It's like one of those big pillows that you can sit on in your bed and kind of sit upright. There's probably a word for it. I don't know what the word is, but it's one of those things. <laughs> this super soft Ugg rug. It's so soft and beautiful. I hope they don't spill anything on it. <laughs> That's what I said to her. I'm like, really? You're going to get a white furry rug for your dorm room, but that's what she wanted to do. All right, if you guys watched my vlog the other day, this is the Grove order that I placed. Emily's taking all of it. So all of the cleaners and things that I purchased, toilet paper and paper towels and some laundry detergent. She's bringing all that. A twin Ugg comforter set and then some sheets and I have more sheets that I'm still washing. She has two sets of sheets. We just picked up a Brita from Target so she can have fresh water in her room. This is a memory foam mattress topper because I guess that's a thing you need too. I don't know. It was on the list. <laughs> a desk organizer with pens and pencils and highlighters and glue and scissors and all the fun stuff you need for school. A bunch of notebooks that we picked up at Staples the other day as well as this desk calendar some Dunkin' Donuts cold brew. And then here she has a whole bunch of snacks that we just picked up. I'll show you guys some of the snacks that we got for her college dorm room. Brownies, pretzels, a Cheez-It variety pack, mac and cheese, because she can make that in the microwave that we just picked up at Target as well, but that was too heavy to bring up to her room. Unsweetened applesauce, some ramen noodles the chicken flavored cups that you can just put water in them and heat them up in the microwave and then chia bars peanut butter chia bars i don't know she said she really likes these i've never tried them before but she got a bunch of those as well and this over here is a shelving system with drawers that i guess she'll put together once she gets to her dorm room and then we have a garbage can with the garbage can liners some disposable face masks, Febreze air freshener, and then a pop-up hamper. Bang cleaner. I don't even know where she got this from. I did not buy this. <laughs> Maybe it was with one of her gifts that she got for her dorm room, who knows? And then she has these neon lights, but I think they're not allowed to have any LED plug-in lights in their room for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure that's a thing. And she has essential oil Airwick spray. I don't know why she made me buy her more air freshener. I don't even like these air freshener things. I don't feel like they're safe, but she insists. So anyway, she got that. And is that everything? I feel like I went through this all so quickly, but I think that is probably all of the things. Oh, a microfiber hair wrap and a bath wrap towel. That is everything, guys, <laughs> that we've been working on. Oh, and a mirror. Here's a big mirror that she got. So that's everything that we got. And we are pretty much packing up and getting ready to do this thing. So that's pretty much everything that we've been accumulating over the past couple of weeks. All of the clothes are packed up. Laundry's still going. I'm still washing some of the things that she's going to be bringing with her, but I think we accomplished a lot today. I think and hope all of the shopping is done. Most of the clothing and shoes are packed. I don't know what else I could possibly be missing. I'm sure there's something, but I think right now we are in a good place and we have the whole weekend to think it over and make sure that there is nothing that we have forgotten. And even if we do forget something, She's not that far away, so we could always run it to her at any given time, which is really a great thing. And I have these guys on standby, <laughs> ready to say goodbye. 
Patrick is on his camping trip. I think Jim is on his way back from the lake house. He actually went to pick up the boat because we're going to take the boat out on a different lake this weekend. That is the plan, depending on the weather. Hopefully the weather is okay. And tonight we're going over a friend's house. So I decided to make some cookies. I have everything set up behind me because why not do that today too, right? <laughs> busy day, let's make some chocolate chip cookies. But anyway, I also wanted to make a double batch so that I can send some off to college with Emily so she could share some homemade chocolate chip cookies with her roommates. I just thought that would be a nice thing to do. So I'm gonna double it up and Madison's gonna help me out. And what else do we have going on today? I think that's pretty much it. So once I get the cookie making done, I can just tidy up the house. I've, I've just been running around all morning, so I haven't kept up with the laundry or the dishes or all of the normal things that I do. So I need to catch up on those tasks as well. And then I hope to have some relaxation time <laughs> before getting ready and going back out tonight. So we'll see, we'll see how much I can accomplish. I'm like ready to drop the camera. <laughs> feel it swaying. So hopefully I can get it all done in time to get a little bit of a break in. So here is the recipe that I'm making. You guys can find it on allrecipes.com if you want to check it out, but it's called absolutely the best chocolate chip cookies. And a friend of mine brought it to one of our get togethers a while back and they are really, really good. So I have all of the ingredients laid out. And I'm gonna go get Madison because she always loves to help bake and we're gonna make some chocolate chip cookies. All right, Madison's gonna help me with the cookie baking. So the oven is preheating to 350. I just buttered all of the trays because they actually need to be greased. So I sprayed some of this on it and we are set up over here. So what I usually do when I'm baking is I put out all of the measuring cups that I need and put it next to the appropriate item so it's easier when I'm putting things together. This one. Madison likes to use a wooden spoon. I like to use either my um, mix master, which I use for cookie baking in the winter time. But if I'm just making like one batch of cookies, I'll take out my electric mixer, my electric hand mixer. So I'm gonna use that. She's gonna try to do it with a spoon. And I guess she has her preferred spoon and bowl. <laughs> She's changing things up on me. I use a whisk. No, you are not gonna be able to use a whisk for this cookie recipe. It's gonna to be too dense. You need a heavy duty wooden spoon for this one. And we are going to make two big batches. Yes. Oh, something that we have to talk about. So, you know what I didn't realize? Huh? Well, I did realize and then I forgot. So homeschooling is not the same as virtual learning. Virtual learning is you're doing school at home, but it's not called homeschooling. Homeschooling is when the, the parents actually write up the lesson plan and do all the stuff that I'm not gonna do <laughs> because that's just not my thing. No way, Jose. So we in the Brennan family are absolutely 100% for Madison this year doing virtual learning. So I'm sorry guys if I made that mistake in the past and saying that we're homeschooling. We are doing school from home, but it's virtual. Uh, <laughs> the lessons are not made okay, by I me. I thought you actually had to do homeschooling. I yeah, like, <laughs> I know school at home is not the same thing as homeschooling. It's just a different term for it. All right, so that being said, let's get back to our cookie baking. Okay, Madison, I just had a really funny idea. You're gonna be so on board with this. <laughs> if you guys remember, a long time ago, we had this Raggedy Ann doll that everyone in the house is terrified of. I actually left the lake house once because I was there alone with this doll and it creeped me out so bad that I literally <laughs> like okay, left. Okay, story. okay. So <laughs> it's at grandma's house in the closet because we're scared to have it in oh, our house. Oh gosh. How funny would it be if I pack it in a blue suitcase? <gasps> do it, do <laughs> it, do it, do it, yes. <laughs> and then she'll open her suitcase in college and it will be there. But then she'll probably get us back with it and you know that I hate that thing. <laughs> How will she get us back? Do you think we'll start the whole thing all over again? Yes. Or do you think she'll just laugh so hard when, when she gets to college and <laughs> sees know. it? But I think she totally forgot about it. So. It would be hysterical. Oh, so I'm gonna tell something to the vlog. Okay. So there's this one thing, there's this one rumor on TikTok going around that the Annabelle doll escaped the war museum. Ooh. So 
the doll that we're scared of looks like the Annabelle doll. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No. It doesn't? The raggedy, the Annabelle doll looks like a raggedy Ann doll. Oh, it, yes. Oh, I, so, I so have the picture of the Annabelle doll from like the From the movie, the movie. it's different. So she'll be even more freaked out <laughs> if it actually, if there's a rumor that it escaped. Oh my gosh. Everyone it's, on TikTok is saying, and people even looked it up. And it actually did? It, it escaped August 13th, yesterday, at mm. 3 in the morning. No way. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Sure you don't want to use the mixer? You want me to use it a little bit? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello. Cooking good. Cooking with Madison. <laughs> we should make a new YouTube cooking show called Cooking with Maddie. Maddie? Well, your friends call you Maddie, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's just <laughs> they look really good. I need to try one. Any good? They're really good. Really yummy. Very chocolatey chip chocolatey chippity. <laughs> chocolatey? Very chocolatey, that's the word. They're really good. This is definitely a delicious recipe, but a couple of things that I would tweak. I need to cook them for 12 min minutes rather than 8 to 10 and also I would probably use half the salt or completely omit it because they are very salty with the one teaspoon of salt and also way too many chocolate chips. Don't you think Madison? There's never too much. <laughs> she says there's never too much. I think it's a little bit much. Instead of two cups I would maybe do a cup and a half, a cup and a quarter because it is a lot of chocolate chips. But they're still delicious either way, even if you follow the recipe, but those are a few small changes that I personally would make. I'm going to bring some cookies to my mom's house. She actually said she would come with me to walk the dog, so I'm gonna bring them over there and bring the cookies with me, and then maybe I can get ready for tonight and relax for a little while before we head out. I just showered and got ready. Feels so much better. I know I showered already this morning, but it's just been so hot and humid out and I've been running all day and baking, so it felt great to take a shower. Straighten my hair, after all, decided to do it and wearing one of my Stitch Fix dresses. Super comfortable. Now I am going to upload and edit this video so that I can head out and spend some time with friends. So that is going to be my relaxing time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me today. It was a great day. We really got a lot done. I feel like we're going to be okay with Emily headed off to college. I feel like everything is kind of working itself out and we are pretty sure what it's going to be now. We're pretty certain that she'll be okay staying on campus and doing virtual and maybe a couple of in-person classes. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully she'll make it through the entire semester, but who knows <laughs> at this point. But I feel good that we have everything purchased and packed and we are going to relax now at a friend's house, so that should be fun. And I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Take care, bye.